Chapter 1, Lesson 7, Ratio and Rate Problems. Today you will be able to solve problems using ratios and rates. You can use equivalent fractions to solve ratio and rate problems. Heritage Middle School has 150 students. Two out of three students in Mrs. Mason's class prefer gel toothpaste. Use this ratio to predict how many students in the entire middle school prefer gel toothpaste. So we have two out of three students prefer gel toothpaste, which means three would be our total because it says two out of three. Okay. We know that there are 150 students total, so I would put 150 on the bottom of my new ratio because that's where the total was in the first ratio. And then what I need to do is figure out how I got from 3 to 150. And you can do that by multiplying by 50. What you do on the bottom, you do on the top. 2 times 50 is 100. So 100 students prefer gel toothpaste. The ratio of the number of text messages sent by Lucas to the number of text messages sent by his sister is 3 to 4. So these were Lucas and these were his sisters. Lucas sent 18 text messages how many text messages did his sister send? Well, Lucas sent 18. So 18 will go on top with Lucas. And then I need to find how I got from 3 to 18. And we did that by multiplying by 6. Do the same on the bottom. 4 times 6 is 24. So we can say she sent, his sister this is, 24 text messages. Letter C. In a survey, four out of five people preferred creamy over crunchy peanut butter. There are 120 people shopping at the grocery store. Use the survey to predict how many people in the store would prefer creamy peanut butter. So four out of five. Again, because it says out of five people, this is a total. And this refers to the creamy. There are 120 people at the store. That would be a total. So how do you get from 5 to 120? If you're not quite sure, you can always do division. You can do how many times does 50 go into 120, or excuse me, 5 go into 120 if you needed to. So you would just do a quick division. 5 goes into 12 once, or I'm sorry, twice. Minus 10 is 2. 5 goes into 20 four times. So to get from 5 to 120, we multiplied by 24. Do the same up top. I don't know what 4 times 24 is, so I will do that off to the side as well. 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So 96 is my answer, and the question is how many would prefer creamy peanut butter? So we would say 96 prefer creamy, and we'll say PB for peanut butter. A survey found that 12 out of every 15 people in the United States prefer eating at a restaurant 
over cooking at home. So 12 out of 15. Again, out of, so this is a total. And this is restaurant, so we'll say R. If 396 people selected eating at a restaurant, how many people took the survey? This time, it tells us how many um, ate at a restaurant and not the total. So 396 would go up top with restaurant. And our unknown amount is on the bottom. How do you get from 12 to 396? Well, let's do the division. 12 goes into 39 three times. Subtract 36. Again, 12 into 36 is three times, which goes in evenly. So what we did is multiplied by 33. Now we need to do the same to the bottom. So we'll do 15 times 33. Three times five is 15, carry the one. Three times one is three, plus one is four. Put a placeholder. Three times five is 15, carry the one. Three times one is three, plus one is four. So we have 495. So how many people took the survey? 495 people. Solve rate problems. You can use unit rates to solve rate problems as well. The Millers drove 105 miles on four gallons of gas. At this rate, how many miles can they drive on six gallons of gas? So we're going to find the rate. 105 miles over four gallons. And the reason we're going to find the rate is because if I put six in the denominator here, I can't easily go from four to six. So this is why we would take this extra step and find a unit rate. How do you get from 4 to 1? You would divide by 4 and do the same up top. And it's okay to get decimals, which it looks like we are going to get on this one. So 4 goes into 105. 4 goes into 10 twice. Minus 8 is 2. 4 goes into 25 six times, which is 24. Bring down the 1. I need to add a decimal point and bring down the 0. 4 into 10 twice. Minus 8 is 2. Bring down another 0. 4 into 20 five times, which gives us 20, subtracting at 0. So this is 26.25. What this means is 26.25 miles per gallon, or 26.25 miles for one gallon of gas. If I want six gallons of gas, I'm going to take that 26.25, that unit rate, and multiply it by what I need, which is six gallons. Six times five is 30. Six times two is 12, plus three is 15. 6 times 6 is 36 plus 1, and 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3. There are 2 behind the decimal point, so 2 need to remain behind the decimal point, leaving my final answer as 157.50 miles. You could also leave it as just 157.5 that zero is not needed. Letter B. 
There are 810 calories in three scoops of vanilla ice cream. How many calories in seven scoops of ice cream? So we have 810 calories in three scoops. I can't put seven in the denominator because I can't easily go from three to seven. So we need to find a unit rate. Three to one, we would divide by three and do the same up top. Three goes into eight, 10. Three into eight twice, which is six. Bring down the two, or, and bring down the one, I should say. Three into 21 is seven. Minus 21 is zero. But don't forget about that zero that's still there. Three goes into zero, zero times. So 270 calories per scoop. But we want to know how many calories for seven scoops. So we're going to take 270, which is our unit rate, and multiply it by the amount of scoops we would like. Seven times zero is zero. 7 times 7 is 49, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 4 is 18. So our answer, 1,890 calories, which is a lot of calories, which is a lot of scoops as well. Jeremy drove his motorcycle 120 miles in three hours. At this rate, how many miles can he travel, travel, drive in five hours? At which rate did he travel? At which rate did he drive his motorcycle? I'm having an issue with that word drive. Okay, again, we can't go from three to five, so we have to find the unit rate. From three to one, we would divide by three, and we'd do the same up top. Now this we can use some mental math. 12 divided by three is four, but then tack on that extra zero, so we get 40. So 40 miles per hour, we take our rate, and we multiply it by five hours. So how many miles can he drive? That would be 200 miles. And also at what rate did he drive his motorcycle? We already found that. It'd be 40 miles per hour. Letter D. While resting, a human takes in about five liters of air in 30 seconds. At this rate, how many liters of air does he take in during 150 seconds? Sometimes you can solve a problem using equivalent fractions if the unit rate method doesn't work. So we would have 5 liters in 30 seconds. And we can use, we can definitely find the unit rate, but we're going to end up with a decimal, which is fine. So because though 150 seconds I can easily go from 30 to 150, I can absolutely skip that step. So this one is kind of like the front of the notes. Multiply by 5, because 3 times 5 is 15. Do the same up top. 5 times 5 is 25. So how many liters of air does he take in? 25 liters.